the council's work is underpinned by very strong research, but um, the results of the research are debated and discussed by the social partners and a consensus is reached in terms of um, a common view on the best way forward. So the work NESC did in terms of background work on the economy um, was influential in the strategy to move Ireland out of the very uh, prolonged uh, recession we faced from the late 1970s, early 1980s. Um, then when Ireland faced a second very uh, uh, marked economic crisis in the mid noughties the council did very important thinking on the nature of the crisis, what were the key elements and what should be done to address it. And they published a very important report called Ireland's Five-Part Crisis in 2007 and subsequent follow-up reports looked at how policy making, public administration, um, the uh, machinery of government needed to be reformed to ensure the crisis didn't happen again. Um, the other area where they've been enormously influential is on social policy. So the Council published a report in the early 2000s called the Developmental Welfare State, um, which we actually often use for teaching in UCD, um, our undergraduate social policy students um, examine it in, in depth. And I think it was a very, very original piece of work that looked at um, welfare states and support for people who are vulnerable and need support for government, but what kind of a welfare state we needed for the particular context we face in Ireland. Well, certainly in recent years, one of the areas NESC has been most influential on is housing policy. So from about 2004, they produced a series of reports on housing, and the more recent uh, reports in that series have examined uh, housing tenure, so uh, support for people to buy their homes, or should we have more social housing. Um, they've also examined the system of land management uh, we have in Ireland, um, or the, the, I suppose until recently, the lack of a system of active management of land supply for housing. They've looked at the regulation of uh, rented housing um, and the financing of social housing. And I think those recent reports have been extremely influential on government thinking. So NESC brings both um, excellent skills in terms of policy analysis, but also a space to stand back and reflect, stand back from the day-to-day -day pressures and challenges and debates and reflect on where should Ireland aim to be going over the next couple of decades? How should we reform our social welfare system to address, for instance, our ageing society, um, much higher levels of migration, uh, changing family size? Um, how should we reform our housing system to uh, address the implications of climate change and to upgrade our housing stock um, to reduce our dependence on fossil fuels. So um, that space to think about these issues long term and to set out and debate and agree on a strategy for Ireland's future economic, social and environmental development, I think is absolutely critical. Um, and NESC is one of the only organisations in the policy making system that provides that space. So I think the uh, 50 years of NESC is well worth celebrating. Um, they're an organisation that may not be well known outside the policy system. Um, and I think it's worth uh, flagging to the public and politicians um, the achievements of NESC and, and also maybe providing some reassurance that there were people actively thinking and debating the big challenges we faced in society. And then throughout its uh, time, uh, the role of Ireland in Europe has been a central concern. So they've produced a series of reports on that area that have been very influential. My ask of NESC is uh, please keep um, thinking in long-term perspective. Um, keep thinking about the big picture because that thinking is very, very difficult to create space for in the rest of the policy system. 
and also keep innovating, particularly in terms of topics. One thing I would like to say is an organisation like NESC um, needs the support of government and policymakers. Um, and often when policymakers are subject to such enormous pressures um, around the next election and 24-hour news cycle and questions in the Dáil um, and Twitter, etc., I think um, policymakers may not always appreciate the long-term value of NESC. But I think one of the values of having this event mark NESC's 50 years is it's an opportunity to look back and look at NESC's contribution over that period to um, the development of Ireland as an economy and as a society, um, to the development of, of our public policy, our public administration. And that contribution has been really enormous. So I would hope the policy-making system, despite all their pressures, um, would continue to support the council going forward.